are fresh. Alright. Oh yeah, I know I know I'm getting a check mark. They say you're the podcast goat. I can cut my hours out of the burger job with this Marvin. <laughs> you don't know what that means, how fresh. Yeah. You again started this in part by saying that at which Donald Trump repeated on the debate stage, he just said Haitians are eating dogs and cats. Can you affirmatively say now that that is a rumor that has no base basis with evidence? If I have to, but it if wasn't I just have a to meme, create sorry. stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do, Dan. You just said that this is a story that you yes. created. What's going on, y'all? Grind and motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And we got your boys fresh and fit in the crosshairs once again because they having a little in-house fight with a fat ass producer, Big Mo. And I don't care what none of y'all say, you're gonna probably be like, man, Big, Big Mo's trying to lose weight. Why, why would you say that about him? Big Mo fat as hell. He's 500 pounds. He's probably only lost, what, 20 pounds. He needs to lose two to 300 pounds before he even comes back talking about some, yeah, guys, you, you see my weight loss journey? Shut up, Big Mo. Shut up. We don't, you don't deserve any validation until you get to that point. That's all I'm saying. You shouldn't have got that big in the first place. But yeah, man, unless you've lived under a rock, the reason that this video is even happening is because Haitian culture has recently been under attack by the Debbies, man. The Debbies have been spreading false propaganda that Haitians are eating cats and dogs up there in Springfield, Ohio. And then, of course, it didn't help when the main W, Donald Trump, came out and said it as well. He's like the homelander of Debbies. Anything he says is basically stamped to prove when other W's hear it, they just get horny. They, they get hard. They get rock hard, bricked up. So, yeah, it's not helping, man. And basically, of course, we know that Myron's an Arab. And then Fresh is a coonologist who just is a beta male and follows Myron around. So they're going to parrot the talking points of whatever the W's are saying because they want to be W's bad. Fresh is like a little mongrel. Myron is, uh, Myron is, is definitely a toot up mongrel pathetic beta male too that follows behind the W's and they don't even love them. So of course they're going to pair up the talking point. So basically them and Big Mo are having an argument right here. We're going to go ahead and see what they said in the argument. Do they have any valid points? Did Big Mo make any valid points? Who handled their self better? Let's get it. Catholicism the most is actually the majority of Haitian population. Okay. What do you think, Myron? Um, they're in cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> How consistent are you when it comes to false allegations and misinformation towards countries that has been stolen off of? That's my question. We're on Twitch, so, you know, I got to keep it up. But Stop it. Get some help. Some new mo, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had that sad, sad nigga music. <laughs> Was there any Haitian Creole in that in talking? So a few things I will say about that first clip is uh, Myron obviously doesn't care about his team talking badly about them right now. And it's funny that, you know, he's so willing to defend Fresh and go to bat for Fresh when he's been out here clearly simping. His serial simplitude has been crazy with that Lady Daisy, with that other woman. What's the girl's name? Um, uh, Miranda. Yeah, he was he was he was clearly in violation, but Myron defended him wholeheartedly. This guy happens to be Haitian, he knows that, but he don't care nothing about it. And, and that's another thing, Myers was the kind of guy that burns bridges because he doesn't know how to shut his mouth. You guys see him, he's demonetized. This is another thing about being a man. Learn how to shut up and be tactful or else you're gonna lose your friends and your opportunities. And we see Myers already lost his opportunity. This dude is a little bit too much of a beta male and doesn't have anything else going for him, so he's gonna probably stay and deal with it. And then another thing I would say is I don't like that Big Mo's running around here like, yeah, what about Haiti? What about Haiti? But you don't care when he's saying crazy stuff about black Americans, trashing us. Hey. I know the video. You know what I'm talking about? The answer is no. There's no... There's not, Stu Mo is like, a, no, he's on a mission. Well, well, him and, well, hold him, on. Him and uh, Sneaker are defending uh, their, their country, so I get it. But uh, play the song real quick that's in the chat to take over. Because <laughs> we got to actually understand it's the culture. It's over 9,000. It's coming from. So let's play this song real quick. Actually, one of our, you know, one of our Alexis is going viral right now. <laughs> horses, Mario, do you believe it's wrong for defending a country you believe in? I think Mario's the wrong guy to ask that. He won't even defend his own quote-unquote country which is supposed to be sudan which i don't even know if he's really from sudan i've heard 
conflicting rumors or conflicting statements from Myron himself saying, yeah, my parents were born in the Emirates. My parents were born in the Emirates. So it's like, which one is it? Are your parents from Sudan or your parents from the Emirates? Which one is it, dog? And then another thing I'll say about Myron and his ilk of people, Kamala Harris and Sneeko, they all talk about countries that they hail from that people automatically think of black people when they hear those names, Haiti, Jamaica, and then, of course, in Myron's case, Sudan. But they don't think about the one or two people that may be Indian, Asian, Kamala Harris's case, Indian folks, Sneeko's case, he's got an Arabian dad, he's got an Asian mom. And then in Myron's case, half the country of Sudan, I believe, is Arabian folks. And if it's not just purebred Arabian folks, you know, they've got a bunch of half-breed Arabian people up there fighting with the regular purebred Sudanese people. And I guess that's why they're having issues. And then Myron won't even talk about why Sudan's in the shape that it's in. He won't talk about anything that the W people might have did to kind of help further implode Sudan into the misery that it's in now. He won't talk about anything. But Big Mo expects Myron to be honorable. Myron's only honorable when it comes to defending degeneracy from what I've seen. Fresh, Snick Fuentes, all these other BS guys, he defends them. But he's not going to defend something that's honorable. Let's get it. Dog. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that's funny as fuck, dog. Don Marlowe. What, yeah. what if we're eating the dog? <laughs> All right, go ahead, play it, play oh, it. Here we go. You know what? I'll stop. I'll this, stop. This, I'll stop. This, 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 I just got all emotional. No. I'll stop. This? They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Eat the cat. Eat, eat the cat. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Eat the cat. Eat the cat. They're eating the cats. They're eating the dogs. Eat the cat. Eat the cat. Eat the cat. They're eating the dogs. That was easy. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of a funny song right there. And it's definitely a little catchy. And if Donald Trump wins... That song will definitely go down in the Hall of Fame, unfortunately, because, you know, these W people love Donald Trump and they love being racist. So let's get it. Pause. Can you imagine, no, right? Oh, he cook it. But uh, to, to be fair, I, I get I get more stance, you know, I get it. I understand. Because more. if I was ever consistent with that logic, I'd probably be fired. What? What? Yeah. What more? What, what do you mean? All right, Mo, go on, spit it out, man. Stop being a beta male with your big ass, man. Your big old goofy, soft beta male self, man. Go on, spit it out, man. You sitting up scared. And these boys sitting up talking about you this whole time. They talking about your country, roasting your country. They talking about black Americans all the time. You laughing, but now they talking about your country, and you feel away. And you ain't even got the balls to really feel away. Because you won't say what you need to say. Y'all like that? You feel away, but you won't say what you need to say. That's a great rhyme right there. But uh, yeah, man, go on say what you need to say, man. There's so much that you could say. I feel like Fresh and Fit Studio was a no holds bar situation, man. They just be talking about everybody badly all the time. Who cares if you let one fly on Myron and let one fly on Fresh? I would do it. If I worked under them, I'd be going in. I would be going in. It would be, it would be blammer stuff that I'm playing for keeps. With my roast, I'm playing for keeps. You're just going to have to decide if you want to fire me, you're going to look weak to your little fans. And then if you keep me around, then it'll just be like, oh, man, you got roasted, you know, or whatever. But, yeah, man, go and say what you need to say, boy. Stop being a big bitch. Stop doing it. W, w reaction. What the hell is this nigga talking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga talking about, bro. You think you're deeper personal. Yeah. The fuck, man. But you uh, won't do it. Yeah, yeah. But you won't do it now, Mo. <laughs> your annoying ass ad libs, nigga. How does it feel? And your little friend too. Yeah. Fuck uh, it. man. bad. It's, it's okay. It's okay. This nigga hurt, man. <laughs> He's the back just fucking. Well, oh, to be fair, if it was Barbados, I'd be defending it too. But if it's true, then hey, I, I, I can't argue the truth. Hey, man. If it's true, it's true. <laughs> I'm saying. I, I just that article when they found out that person wasn't Haitian. The mm. person in question wasn't Haitian. Yeah, he said there. He never said Haitians. Yeah. Yo, they can't vote anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Just keeping it real. <laughs> they can't vote anyway, nigga. All they can do is eat cats and dogs, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't care. Dom, Dom, hey, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Close the border. Build the wall. <laughs> think about so tight, bro. Never seen this thing so bad, bro. Build the wall. Look at him. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this thing's so bad. So they went in on Bitmo in the comments as they should have. 
And I'm not on anybody's side in this whole little debacle that they got going on, man. I'm definitely not on Myron's side. Definitely not on Fresh side. And I'm definitely not on Mo's side. You want to get butt hurt now. They're talking about Haitians when you let them talk trash about black American people all the time. You never said anything. You never said anything. I think, in fact, you were kind of hating on Tyreek Nasheed one time because he crushed Myron now. But no, now they're talking about the Haitians. You care. And I understand as a Haitian person, not wanting that taint on your whole community because not everybody's doing it. You already know I don't like Myron. I, I think Myron needs to be punched out real good. Fresh needs to be punched out real good. And that's that. But we're going to go ahead and check these comments out, man. See what these people been saying. First comment by a dude named Danny. He says, so you're okay with them making fun of other races. But when it's Haitians turn, you got a problem with it. And I agree with that there. But at the same time, all of you little non-black dudes on the Fresh and Fit bandwagon, none of you guys can say this or be mad at anybody for caring because you guys are the same way when it comes to your situations. You guys love trashing black Americans. All you guys as a, as a whole love to gang up on us. Y'all try y'all best. And now you're mad at Mo, but at the same time, I agree with you. Then we got your boy Hate Speech says, of course the overweight black dude agree with this ish. Uh, I mean, I don't know what, <laughs> why why him being black has anything to do with it, but I mean, just, I mean he's more so Haitian than anything. Uh, Mark Pino say, you're a big ass baby. When are you going to help rebuild Haiti, you fat F? <laughs> After you're done losing weight for 10 years? I mean, you're right, man. Yeah, most seem like one of them type of projects that's going to take a clean 10 years. One of them pathetic dudes, they come and they, they go back and eat all the pounds back and get back fat again. And then they lose a little weight, get back fat again. Yeah, man. Just like Fresh. Fresh is never going to get in shape either. Then he comes back again with another blammer. He says, you have no problem with modern and Fresh itching on every other race and culture. But the second they bring up Haiti, it's a problem. Yeah, so he's saying the same thing that Danny was saying earlier, and I agree. The Groiper Reporter, I guess that's a new W Boy cult or something. You know, they, they all call themselves Groipers. That's not like a weirdo type of, type of thing, but hey. It says, people get this emotional for an ish hole of a country ruined by their own actions. And I don't agree with that right there. Because the W people, your people, are actually the reason why the country's ruined. So there's that. Then your boy Kaiser Sos says, Myron can't pay his people the same, and now they're rebelling. <laughs> hey, that's real. That's real, though. He All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and ration out the monthly dividends for this month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 some money, considering that we're banned off of Twitch and YouTube. That yacht party netted us a good 100k. I've been hurt so bad, Marvin. I need this, Marvin. Then locals, we still got a bunch of Simpson losers paying for it. So yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Another 100k, 200k in total. Did that, that, that good? All right, let me go ahead and ration these things out here. Mo, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Five k. I can afford more burgers now. No, 500. You idiot. Fat idiot. But, but Myron, you think after what you just tried on that podcast earlier, I'd give you 5K? I had to defend my country, Myron. Be what, what do you want? Oh, come on, Myron. Chris? I, I, I should get more. Cause I, I, I've been here longer, longer than him, so, so, so I should get, get, get more automatically. It, 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 you know. Really? I, 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 you talking to me right now, Chris? I, I, I just thought, you know, uh, you would go up. Uh, to know your place, Chris. But, Stuttering. But, 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 Myron, that, that, that ain't right, Myron. You, that ain't right, Myron. That, that, that ain't right, Myron. You, you, ah! I told you. That, 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 that ain't right, Myron. That, that ain't told right. you. That, that, ain't coming. that, that ain't right, Myron. Now, fresh. All right. Oh, yeah, I know, I know I'm getting a check, Myron. They say you're the podcast ghost. I cut my hours out of the burger job with this, Myron. <laughs> you don't know what that means, huh, fresh? Yeah. <laughs> you don't really know what the podcast <laughs> goat means, huh? Yeah, you don't know yeah, what yeah. they're saying on the internet about you, huh? You did. They, they love my input, Myron. They love my input, Myron. The podcast goat. Is the podcast go because he gets money without doing anything. What? what, what? No, no. And I'm quite frankly tired of it, bro. That, that's not it, Marvin. So, it's looking like. You know I help, Marvin. After what you just tried on the other podcast the other day when we were talking about the San Rudos, we're going to have to cut you short as well. But, but Marvin, I, I need this, Marvin. Yeah, I need you're going to need some extra hours at the burger job, okay? I can't wash my dishes, Marvin. Uh, one, please, two, please, Marvin. 200. That's not enough, Marvin. 
Come on, Marlon. I, I gotta take an Uber to work, Marlon. Please. You serious right now? Go, come on, Marlon. You serious right now? I, I, I need help, Marlon. Please. Please. I, what, what you doing? You Marlon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How much of a pay cut you think he gave on folks, man? That's a that's a good comment right there. And then we got real human says, even if that one story wasn't true, it's directionally true. It's not like Haitians haven't eaten dogs and cats that ate humans. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. People, most most Haitian people are saying that they don't do that on the regular. John Fisher said, "Most sound like a well-fed woman that has uncontrollable lactation problems." <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Mo is big as hell, man. I don't care what nobody say. And then Booster Phoenix say, what I believe Mo was hinting at was Myron was pissed to the point of shattering his mug because people believe in false allegations, but then participates in false allegations against Haiti and laughs at Mo for being emotional. Ironically, Mo handled himself better than Myron. I could I could agree there. I could agree there. That was, uh, that's a good point. I like that he read in between the lines right there, but I, I could definitely agree there. I would say that Mo handled himself better than Myron. Myron acts like a big, stupid kid. A big, immature, stupid kid. Myron's that guy, that guy in the crew, or you know, your, whoever you got, you might know. It could, it could be a woman, it could be a man, that person in your family, person in your, that's a friend. They just don't know when to shut the hell up, or, and they don't really know when to say the right things. They lack that social cues and social awareness. And then Mo handles himself better for sure. John Wayne, who is a stream W boy racist on Twitter, says this need to be fired. Quote unquote, I'd probably be fired. The F type of sneak disc beta male ish is that. <laughs> if you don't want to speak, then keep your mouth shut. <laughs> You're a man. Don't play around like a. Yeah, and I do agree with that to a degree, but at the same time. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. He thinks he's tough because he's in the military. You really need your ad whoop, man. That's a lot of people on, on the internet that need their ad whoop. Most on W's. Last but not least, we got a separate beta male message from Big Mo. And this is uh, him on his own page. He says, I'm seeing a lot of messages of encouragement from various sides and I appreciate them all. I'm proud to use the opportunity to continue to spread positive messages and bring awareness to my beautiful culture. But do not misunderstand. I'm still proud of what I do for work. I'm still proud of who I work for. Beta. Despite the very few disagreements there may be, my bosses are admirable men. Beta. I work for the greatest bosses anyone will ever have. And, and I will always defend them the same way I do for my You sound like a beta man. I don't care what you say, dog. I don't care about you defending culture and all that. You sound like a straight tooting up beta male, man. A straight tooting up beta male. You, sir, are pathetic. I know you want to keep your job and all that, man, but you need to go on goddamn and let them folks know you can't disrespect me. You can't disrespect me, goddamn. <laughs> this clip right here is off of Mo's page. It's him debuting some of his music that he made himself. And I was thinking I could do another video. If you guys want me to do another video reacting to it, let me know down in the comments below. But this is how we're going to go ahead and end it off, man. What do you guys think about what happened in that video? Was Mo in the right or was Mo some selective outrage? Shout it. I think it was selective outrage, shawty. And at the same time, I think more of them are insensitive and don't understand how to move right around teammates and opportunities. And they could have cost themselves a good producer. I mean, I'm not saying most of the best of the best, but, you know, what if you guys really need them? Now you ain't got the money to go get a new guy because they ain't going to want you for the little pennies that you're giving out. But that's it for the video right there. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see y'all next time.